Hi, welcome back to Crossroads Calligraphy. My name is Renee. Um, my pronouns are she and her, and I'm coming to you from what is traditionally Tohono O'odham land uh, here in Southern Arizona. And today I'm coming on to talk about practicing the basic strokes. And this is a little bit um, pre-calligraphy. What these practices get us to do is look at um, the way that we're approaching writing in general. So I hope to just show you a few, um, a few different strokes that you can work with and how to correct them so that you can have kind of get your bearings on where and what you'd like to practice next. So I'll go ahead and flip the camera. Um, you'll need a graph paper or lined paper and a pencil. That's it. See you in a minute. Okay, so here we are with our graph paper and a regular wooden pencil. You can go back and watch the posture videos. I'll put a little card here so you can check it out. Uh, so go ahead and establish your posture. And then, um, and what we're looking for is to hold the pencil lightly, not squeezing it, um, not crumpling up all your fingers. And I understand that that's gonna take practice. Um, and it still takes practice for me, honestly, because I do find myself um, scooting my fingers down. Okay, so three basic strokes that you can use to practice your line quality. So the first is a vertical stroke. Uh, and we're just, go ahead and work in between, treat the, the squares of the graph paper as individual squares here. Um, so the vertical stroke starts at the top of the box place your pencil and draw a line as straight and lightly as you can toward the bottom boundary of the box. Okay, the second is a horizontal stroke. So it starts on the left side of the box, again, as straight and lightly as you can toward the other side of the box. And then lastly, we have um, a circle. that touches all four sides of the square. You can see that I'm not perfect at writing these. It would always be nice if I would maybe warm up before I made videos, but I think it's important for you to see that um, we that each, each person has their own room for improvement that they work with. Okay. So what we're looking for is the straightness of the line, whether or not it starts exactly on the guideline of the graph paper or not, and then how lightly we drew it. Sometimes your lines are going to look darker than each other, and that translates in calligraphy. If you look at our... Um, our recent video, the difference between the nibs, you can see very clearly that the harder you push on a pointed calligraphy nib, the wider the tines open. So if you're varying the pressure this much um, between your writing instrument, then that's going to show up in how wide the strokes are. And we're, we're practicing basic strokes to improve our accuracy and to improve consistency in the calligraphy. So doing it here with a pencil where there's not, um, where we're only paying attention to the straightness and the line quality um, helps us to translate that later to our calligraphy. So what you want to do is write, make four or five marks per box. Let's keep it at four. And then, okay, I'll keep it at three for that one. And then you want to put your pencil down and set it off to the side and pick up, um, I didn't mention this before, but pick up a different writing tool. Really look at it and observe what, what you did and make notes for yourself so that the next time you pick up the pencil, you have the notes in mind of things that you can try and put those into practice right away. 
rather than getting all the way to the end of a line or doing several boxes. Like you're, you're really tightening, tightening up on improving as you go. Okay, so three lines per box, grade your lines, and then pick your pencil back up and try again. So again, you'll do that with the vertical strokes, the horizontal strokes, and your circles. Um, and working with these things gets your hand and your mind to work together. Now, a few other things to look at as you're writing are um, your emotions, like how, how you react when, when something happens like this. Like how do you show up for yourself when you need to make a correction? Or how do you show up for yourself when you need a break? Um, you're also looking at how tightly you're holding the pencil and correcting that as you go. And lastly, looking at um, how, how often you take a break. Really, it should be every 20 to 30 minutes that you stand up and walk around. So, um, so in practicing basic strokes, you're also practicing those principles of, um, of caring for yourself in your whole calligraphy practice. Okay, so those were the basic strokes to kind of get you started with working with um, how you're approaching the act of writing. There's plenty of little things to pay attention to and plenty of little things that will keep you busy, but it's a great way uh, to be in relationship to how, how you're showing up to the page each time. And it's a great thing to continue to practice throughout your larger calligraphy practice because you get rusty sometimes and it's I mean I've been working with this for several years now and there's always room for improvement and it's nice to come back using these basic strokes if you've maybe had a little break from your calligraphy practice for a while or you haven't really had these motions in your awareness before so any questions or comments that you have go ahead and leave them down below um, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time